All right, hello everybody. Right now, I am uh, remaking a tutorial. I guess it didn't upload properly, and I wasn't okay with the sound. All right, first we're gonna make our turret. Now we're gonna make it in three parts. We're gonna make it in a gun. I prefer the rockets, but in uh, a gun type never hurts. Gun and rockets, followed by. Hold on, let me check something. Alright, so we have the gun types, the these will be on top, those are the head pieces. Then we have the arms. This is a universal item. This will connect these two no matter what you use. Then we have the bases. I personally made two different bases and I just made them differently for factions and stuff. But then that's so people can recognize who's shooting at them. Besides some other things, but that's uh that's a little that's me getting uh, beyond myself. Now, we will export these things individually. Now, everybody uses a different programs um, to model and export. So I will just say this: make sure if you're using Blender, make sure that it is properly uh, materialed. You can go down to materials, link new or whatever, then image, then uh, load, and beforehand, just make sure you have a UV map. Like for example, this. What's UV mapped here? This. Alright, this is UV mapped. I go to UVs, scripts, save. And that saves as a Targa. I jump into um, GIMP. I save it as something else. I dial it up a bit, make it look pretty. And I come back here. Um, I resave. Then I export. Now, when you're exporting, these are the settings that I use personally. I um, also select the folder in which I'm going to put it to, and I make backups because that's just me. And going from there, um, hmm, what's next? Just do the same for the other items. Like for this tutorial, I'm going to use a rocket. Now, mind you, these items were remade. Some of the um, textures are off. Because I'm still remake, I'm still making some minor changes. So we're gonna use the rockets, the arm, and we're gonna use a four foot base. Then we're gonna jump over to the other screen, which will be the resource editor. Turret trial. This is a folder that I made and put everything else in. The mesh from the arm, the base, and the rocket, which I put in the wrong folder. I was supposed to put it in the main rocket folder right here, but instead I put in rocket bullet by accident. I'll fix that later. But what's important is that when you make your rocket, you're going to use the resource type entity and gun. Do not use anything else, just gun. Because that's what we're gonna just use gun. Because that's what's shooting. After you finish making that add in your object with the mesh uh, option over here it should be in the folder well you should be able to find it by now unless you set it up incorrectly here's the mesh every um what else other than that you don't really need to mess with any other options here except the shooting now I have two sides alternate and normal I set them both up so that there's uh, they both shoot, they're both um, independent, and they have their own reload times, whatever, and distances in which they fire. So no one will notice that you're firing from the center if you did it incorrectly. Instead, you'll be able to fire from different sides if you use a helper, a charge object helper, move this helper right here. And if you think you're going to be firing from here, well, no. I'm just using helper in case uh, people don't understand the use behind helper. Sorry, the reason why there is a helper. From here, grab the position, go back to the top, and use that position for, let's look at normal fire. 
for start offset position that's where it'll be firing from this is what the helper is for for those of you who, do, who did not know now moving on now that the gun is already made and the options are already set and you set the bullets in which it does fire we're now going to move on to the main gun which would be sorry not the main gun but the main turret you'll make a turret type and from the turret type not turret AI but turret that's what you need to select name it whatever you want to I would keep the naming um, very similar so that I'm not lost and we're going to because this is what happens if uh, you forget names and stuff you have turret rocket that's this then turret gun you don't want to confuse them you just want to use your turret that's what we're doing here alright so then from the type we'll edit now what's very important which is why we made our gun and we left it alone is because we're gonna make the gun a map object we're gonna add in our base and our arm as regular meshes here but then the only difference is we're gonna add in a map object and that'll be our gun remember this even though it's a rocket I name it gun because that is a type and it'll be easier to remember because you know that guns shoot as opposed to rockets and ammo it, you can use your own making naming mechanisms but I'm just letting you as a person watching know and from here we're gonna set up all our option sorry all of our options set maximum life that is very important because you don't want to get shot down in your own game and not be able to shoot back allow editor create always leave that true because you want it to show up in the map editor in fact let me go back and in fact no, I'm not going back um, next you will notice that there's initial AI do not set that you don't want to set that here in case you want to get into the game and maybe control it and plus it's you I just don't set it I don't need to set it view radius this is uh, the radius in which the turret can look around it can look anywhere in a circle if you set this it can look down up it'll give it a 360 look sorry 360 view physics model we're gonna edit the physics this is very important go to bodies add add turret and base if you do not use these two or at least if you do not use turret personally I say use turret and base because it it is you have to unless you have another object then just use the other object like space cruiser I have some turrets that's attached to a, a vehicles some class that when it um, starts up it I don't want to go to right now when it starts up uh, the turrets come out and they go to work now you want to have two different bodies here so then we have a base and turret which we already added and we're gonna make sure that they're both static true both of them because if you make one static false like let's for example uh, let's use the arm because some people will think I want my arm to turn that sounds great and everything but then if you make the arm turn then you're gonna run into this problem someone will possibly walk past your turret and knock it down you don't want this thing having nowhere to go because a player walked into it so with that being said set that static please you can use the shape if you want to um, take some time to fill out the shape here so that players don't shoot this spot and still get the turret that is totally up to you personally I don't really care much for it just like uh, they did over here I mean players could shoot here but then not shoot the turret I can understand that it makes sense but then we just want this done and quickly sometimes if you're on the move you just want to aim at the turret who cares if you missed it because you shot between the crevice from 50 miles away I mean so, well five feet away who knows who cares moving on we set this already now notice there's no head there's no rocket 
that is normal just leave it as is because these are physics is static that's the only thing that's important right now and from here we move uh, of course you set your materials and everything you should be able to do that we're now moving back to the map as you seen the video um, when it first started the turret was able to follow the player now um, I'm gonna show that in a second 